Hello everybody. I found a nice little trick with a certain program. Um, you guys might see the game that I'm kind of interested in right now. Something like that. Um, notice down here I have temperature display. What that is, is I have blue for my Intel processor, which is cool. I like that. Haha, uh -huh, blue. I also have green right here for my NVIDIA graphics card. That's super cool, you might say. Why would you do that? It's using up valuable resources, like your CPU usage is going up because of that. Well, not, not, I don't really, you know, that's not really a problem. Sorry about that noise. Um, it's not really a problem because I've got eight cores, well, four real ones, four imaginary cores. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, so what it is, is it's MSI Afterburner, the program that I use to overclock my graphics card. It has several neat settings that you can use to monitor your system so that you don't have to open up this just to see, you know, oh, where am I? Where's it at? You know, trying to see what your temps are at, what your clock speed is and all that. So going forward, you open up settings, you go over to monitoring and you go to, you know, whichever thing you want to monitor, which as you can see, there is, there is a bunch including the voltage of the GPU, which is kind of cool. Um, you can change how many columns you want, blah, 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 how many you want to see, the name of it so you know what it is, and yada, 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 your temperatures. Now you go down to show in tray icon, and you choose your color. The reason I choose that is because, you know, NVIDIA graphics card. And it might look like it's running warm right now, but that is literally because it is recording as I'm talking. Um, I'm using NVIDIA Shadow Play, which uses up your GPU to record as you are doing whatever. So, yes. So when I'm recording, everything's running a little hotter. My game performance might be a little lower than it should be. But with this huge overclock, it's not really that big of an issue. Why do I keep clicking things that make it make noise? Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, that's where you go from there. So you go ahead and you click GPU, show and tray icon, choose a color. You want a bar chart or you want text? Boom, bar chart. That's stupid. Why would they give you that option? I mean, that's brilliant. <laughs> you go back over to monitoring, go down to your CPU temp, and there you can see my blue. And there is where you will get your tray display of your CPU and GPU temperature. Um, I might do some Overwatch gameplay for you guys, but it's not really a fun let's play kind of game. It's more of a either look how good at it or look how bad at it game. Um, I may do it just to have fun, just to show you guys what the gameplay is like, but if you like this video, like it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Um, I'll do better. Don't worry. Eventually, I'll get more entertaining. Um, subscribe for more information like this, all kinds of things. Um, I have a vast amount of knowledge about a lot of things, and I'm not sure exactly what I should do with that. You know, I could just throw out random videos where it's like, well, if you buy this program, or if you have this program, or if you download this program, you can do this, you can do that, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. I'm not really sure what like you guys are into learning so if you have any suggestions something that you might be wondering about or you know just something you know that you will never use but you're interested in seeing that a computer can do it go ahead and let me know in the comments shoot me an email for fuck's sake do something whatever you want to do I'm open to ideas but if you guys don't have any ideas I have plenty so I just wanted to get this out there show you guys that that is like something that I really enjoy. It's super cool. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. See you later.